All right, welcome to the spotlight for Thermal MJ by Trinstar, member of our Bears Den group. So for anybody that is an old school Minecraft player, you will remember when Thermal Expansion and Buildcraft worked together. Uh, but since 112 or in 112, they no longer work together for power because Buildcraft has gone back to the old MJ that we all know and love and therefore does not connect to thermal things as you can see here. Well, now you can see with thermal... MJ installed, we can now power our energy cell through Kinesis pipes. We can also use a Sterling generator to do so, which is powering the pump to connect to fill water up in our steam dynamo, which also will power our pulverizer here. When I throw in some more, there we go. You can see that it sends out the power, runs the pulverizer, keeps it full of power, so they can all work together again as they did pre 112. Now, as of version 1.0.0, the conduits do not work. You have to use kinesis pipes for transport, but the dynamos will put um, will connect to the kinesis pipes, and the machines can be powered through the kinesis pipes. You can also run the engines directly onto energy cells as well you don't need kinesis pipes for that there is talk of an update to add in um usability of conduits for transport of power which i hope will have a config because that'll make all power um mj power lossless when going through conduits which is kind of what killed MJ in the first place. But for anybody who would like an old school feel to their 112 running Buildcraft and Thermal together, Thermal MJ is what you need. Uh, there will be a link in the description to the download. I would add a card up in the corner to it, but Curse Forge is not a linkable card through YouTube so my apologies there but the link will be in the description again the name is thermal MJ if you'd like to just search for it thanks for watching don't forget to hit the buttons and do the things and we'll see you back on Bears Den